Today's video is brought to you by Technically Not a Technician, and in today's video we'll have an informational demo of the classic arcade game Rampage. Rampage is a Bally Midway arcade game released in 1986. Players take control of three massive monsters attempting to survive military assaults. Each round is completed when a specific city is completely demolished. Warner Bros. currently owns all rights to the property as a result of their acquisition of Midway Games. Rampage, inspired by monster movies, spawned five sequels and a film adaptation in 2018. No more than three gamers can govern a trio of individuals who have been transmogrified into enormous animalistic monsters as a result of various experiment-related accidents. George, who was transformed into a King Kong-like gorilla by an experimental vitamin, Lizzie, who was transformed into a Wyomir-like reptile by a radioactive lake, and Ralph, who was transformed into a giant bipedal wolf by a food additive. To advance to the next level, the monsters must raise all buildings in a high-rise city, eating people and destroying helicopters, tanks, taxis, police cars, boats, and trolleys along the way. Any of the buildings can be climbed by the player, who can punch them to pieces and reduce them to rubble. Non-playable human characters and food items can also be punched or grabbed within the levels. Damage is dealt to the player's monster by enemy bullets, dynamite sticks, shells, punches from other monsters, and falls. Eating foods like fruit, roast chicken, or soldiers helps to restore health. If a monster receives too much damage, it reverts to naked human form and begins walking sideways off the screen, covering its body with its hands. In this state, players are vulnerable to being devoured by another monster. If the player wishes to continue playing, the player's character either mutates back into the monster or, if the human walked off the screen, you fly back into the game on a blimp with a full life bar. Generally, smashing open windows reveals an item or person of interest, which may be useful or harmful. Food and money are examples of useful items, whereas bombs, electrical appliances, and cigarettes are examples of dangerous items. Some items can be both helpful or harmful. For example, a toaster is dangerous until the toast appears, and a photographer must be consumed quickly before his flash dazzles the player's monster, causing it to fall. When a player grabs a civilian who is waving their hands at a window signaling for help, the player's points quickly increase. Each monster can only accommodate one type of person. George can only accommodate women, Lizzie can accommodate middle-aged men, and Ralph can accommodate businessmen. Rampage takes place over 128 days in cities across North America. The game takes place in Peoria, Illinois, and concludes in Plano, Illinois. Players in Plano receive a Mega Vitamin bonus, which heals all monsters and provides a large point bonus. The cycle of cities then repeats five times. The game is reset to day one after 768 days. The hardware couldn't support that much art and we never figured anyone would get through 768 levels, said game developer Brian F. Collin. Some home port versions of the game begin in San Jose, California and end in Los Angeles after traveling across North America. The Rampage passes through several cities in the United States, as well as two in Canada. Only Connecticut, Delaware, Mississippi, New Hampshire, Rhode Island, South Carolina, and Vermont are immune to the monster's Rampage. In conclusion this game is hours of fun to play, and always seems to help people blow off a little steam. There's something about being the cause of total destruction that seems to help us deal with our day. Rampage also never seemed to be about playing against anyone but the computer, making you and your friends kind of a team, just your trio versus the world, and that's why I think I like this game so much. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it, and found it informative. If you did, Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with a friend. These are only small clicks for you, but they mean the world to this channel.